Welcome back. First up, let's talk about Josh Anderson. It's no secret that his performance this past season fell short of expectations. With only nine goals to his name and a hefty contract hanging over his head, the question on everyone's mind is, has the patience with Anderson finally run out? Head coach Martin St. Louis invested a lot of time and effort trying to ignite Anderson's game, but unfortunately, the results were less than stellar. Anderson himself admitted to his lackluster performance, acknowledging, I sucked this year. With the possibility of acquiring forwards who can provide much-needed offense during the offseason, it's doubtful that St. Louis will continue to extend the same level of patience next season. Perhaps, with the Canadians looking to make a play for someone like Anthony Mantha from the Vegas Golden Knights. Let's shift our focus to Philip Mizar. Reports suggest that he may find himself playing for the Laval Rocket next season. This move could provide valuable development opportunities for Mizar as he continues to hone his skills in the AHL. GM Kent Hughes will be on the lookout for forwards who can bolster the team's scoring capabilities. With key players like Joel Armia showing improvement after stints in the AHL, there's hope that strategic roster adjustments could reignite the Canadians' offensive prowess. Before we continue, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and have notifications turned on so you never miss out on the latest Canadians' updates. And if you're enjoying this content so far, don't forget to smash that like button. This means a lot to me. While patience may have worn thin with certain players like Josh Anderson, there's optimism surrounding potential acquisitions and development opportunities for emerging talent like Philip Mizar. What are your thoughts on the Canadians' roster moves and player performance? Thanks for watching. Until next time.